Darren, welcome to Korean Football Club. You've been on trial for a bit and uh, you've just signed your deal. How does it feel to have signed? No, it's great. Obviously, following the back of last season, we're not playing that much football. It was a tricky season for me, but obviously coming in here and obviously got that uh, the contract over the line, I'm absolutely buzzing. Just can't wait to get on that pitch. He's a player I've known about um, for, for a long time and um, and probably followed, as you mentioned, through a few different clubs for a long time as well. And um, I think m my memories of him over the last few seasons, in particular when we've come across him, is, is just very cool, calm and collected. And I think in the three or four training sessions he's done with us already in game, you know that oozes out of him. You know there's that um, a huge level of calm and a huge level of quality. Um, but again, even lots of small things you see in training of his awareness, his use of his body, his use of all aspects of it. You know there's a huge amount of star quality there. Um, it's obviously been a tough last year for him. You know he picked up um, a couple of indifferent, unfortunate injuries, probably more than anything else. But they've impinged, I suppose, on, on his progress last year. And we know he's probably a week or two away still, maybe from being um, where we would like him to be and ideally where he would like to be as well. But it's about, it's about us safely, I think, trying to bring him up to that level. But I think as, as long as we can keep him safe and keep working you know, on his football fitness from that point of view, there's no doubt in the star quality and, and I think the, the level of calm that he'll bring to us from that point of view. Yeah, I grew up in Edinburgh. I played football as a, a youngster, really young, at... Hearts, and then was at Livingston for a couple of years, and then moved to Rangers. Um, and then I was there for ten years until I was about twenty-two, and then after that, I ended up I was at Livingston for a, a year, um, and then I was at Morton for a few months, and then ended up uh, moving over here and playing for Derry for five seasons. Um, then obviously I was at Glens uh, last season and. Half the last season, uh, the season before. As an 18-year-old to make your debut for Rangers in in, in the Champions League, um, I think would give you an indication, I suppose, of of how he was thought of um, in in Scotland. So um, those experiences can only be can only be good and can only be something, I suppose, that have um, carved his career out over over the next um, eight to ten years as well. So I suppose it's it's that type of star quality and it's that mentality. Um, ideally, that you want to build your, your club around, and as I say, since he's come in, he's you know the three or four nights he's trained and the game that he's played, um, he's a lovely way with them both on and off the pitch, and he's one that hopefully you know will will not just be an asset uh, as himself as a centre half, but hopefully you know to other players around him. It's because you've been there from your really young, and then well, twelve till I was twenty two, so it wasn't the norm, and I always say now that you think you've taken for granted. Now, because you're not obviously still there, but the experience and the players you played with, and obviously I ended up playing in the Champions League when I was 18, um, thinking, you know, you've, you've nearly made it. Uh, but no, I wouldn't take anything away or whatever I've done now. I'm here, I'm where I am where I'm now. Uh, I'm going to give 100% and hopefully my ability and I can add to the team. I'm not joking, like, as soon as I came in here, I couldn't believe how good the boys were technically and they're really fit, so I'm expecting them to play big things this year. I would know a good few of them, but uh, personally I would know Dean Jarvis, played with him at Derry for a couple of years and he's a serious player. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard really, really good things about Oren and I've never actually, well, before I came I never obviously met him before and he just, it was, it was crazy actually, it just it made me feel so comfortable. Um, as myself, I'd be pretty laid back, and for a manager, I felt he was kind of like that as well. But it just, honestly, it was just, just I don't know. It, it just felt made me relax when I came in. Usually, if you go to a new club or whatever, you know, it can be a bit tense. But it takes that kind of away for you as soon as you you come in and on the training pitch and in the games, and his caliber is high. Fantastic. Well, we're really excited to see you. Um, well, thank you. Know, you. Your caliber of player and experience bringing to the team. We're really excited to see how Thank you, you very much. Cheers. Cheers.